You know, sometimes you hear some wonderful, wonderful news, and you feel like you've got to share it with the world. Today, I read the story of the IRS raiding televangelist Benny Hinn's grapevine offices. Benny Hinn is a, well, a con artist, really. A man who basically gets in tithes huge amounts of money from credulous Christians. But basically, he has been raided. I would love to think that Benny Hinn would finally meet his end, and that this kind of thing, these big players, you know, finally being caught up by the long arm of the law, would basically send a message, and eventually the mega churches and the other scams out there would be reined in. You know, you act within certain key parameters, rather than simply being, well, people who milk the cash cows. It seems to me that these people are the lowest of the low, and really, they should be dealt with harshly for their abuse, not only of the people involved, but the very idea of religion. Considering religion is meant to be helping people, well, it doesn't really, but the idea is out there. And you end up with these people playing on that and this general misconception of what religion is, and they create a simple scam out of a religious belief, using religion as a way of, well, living the high life having massive mansions, fine cars, and yeah, people really should wake up and smell the coffee, and perhaps the federal government get involved in terms of Benny Hinn's finances is a step in the right direction.